This lady said something that stuck with me and it sticks with me to this day because it's one of the greatest things I've ever heard a human being say that I personally know and I've personally met or even in general. This lady said... What up, my people? Welcome back, man. This is Euphoria from Into Euphoria, and welcome back. We are going to do the analysis video for Suga. I mean, Dala, I just did the reaction, you know what I'm saying? And this is the fun part, man. This is where we dig into the grit, the grime, and we talk about it. So, as I was mentioning in, in, in my reaction, I am honestly tracking right on time, right on point, with, with these analysis videos and these speculations and what I've been expecting from Sugar, what I've been expecting from this album and how I understand them because like I say, that's all, y'all know that's my bias. We know that I ain't gotta talk about that too much. Well, it's still a lot of people still new to the channel. So for those that don't know, Sugar has been my bias since day one, man. I just locked in on this guy. We can't argue with what our spirit draws us to. I would even take it a step further and say, uh, to some extent, I think we have no choice over who we love because that's a very spiritual experience. You know what I'm saying? So, and we're just guided. So, to some extent, I truly believe we have no control over the things we love. I'm not just going to say who, but over the things we love because we're just naturally guided by spirit to it. And from the beginning, Sugar, well, that one, that one, I love them all, got respect for them all. But that one, I just knew it, I just knew it. So I'm very in tune with this guy and I'm an artist myself, a very genuine artist myself. So I'm very in tune with him. I know the vibes, I know how artists are and the way I've been calling this thing and the way I've been predicting this thing, I literally been right on time with it. I've been right on the money with it from my analysis video um, my expectation video for the album to my analysis video for Higgum. I've been talking about this. So it looks like Suga is just in this phase in his life of washing away um, um, the dark, dark, dark past uh, that, that he has had over all of this time. And it's just so interesting to hear him talk about these things because, you know, he's such an obvious, accomplished and successful artist. And it's just so amazing how this stuff is still in there. You know what I'm saying? That's why when we go to therapy, you know, one of the first things that come out of their mouth is tell me about your childhood. Because that's real. You know what I'm saying? It forms who we are and how we develop. So it looks like... He's really, just as the, the press release said, he's given us a very intimate look into his personal life, what he's really thinking, what he's really feeling, and intertwining that with being an artist at the same time. At the end of the day, he's human as well. So I'm going to definitely get into this thing, man. We're going to break this down and we, we, we just getting in depth. That's what this one is about. So pat yourself on the back if you made it to this one because... People that care about details are very, 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 very special people. Trust me. I've been hearing that my whole life. And all the pieces are, are finally starting to come together. And I'm not saying other everybody has value. You know what I'm saying? But it's just something about people that pay attention to details. Because trust me when I say the majority of people don't. And I'm talking 80 to at least 90%. They don't. So if you're that type of person, trust me when I say you have a very, very, very special purpose. That's from me to you. Let's go, man. Let's break this thing down. See what, what, what's happening here. And like I said in my um, speculation video, his sound is so much more articulate. And by the way, if y'all see my reactions, you'll notice sometimes I say similar things. It looks like I'm saying the same thing. I approach it like it's a fresh, fresh, fresh new video. So you may hear me say similar things. It's just because I'm approaching it like it's a fresh video because to me, in my mind, it really is. But uh, yeah, his, his sound is so much more articulated now. He can create what he want to create. And what I'm noticing with this one, it's a very dark song. It's a very deep song. Let me say deep. It's a very deep song, but 
he musically made it um, something that's easier to process and not as heavy because, you know, as I mentioned, he, he has his sound and himself and his resources so much more articulated where he could really create what he want to create. So respect to him. That shows growth from the older sugar. The older sugar would have said, fuck everybody, fuck this. We finna go dark because that's what time it is. If you don't believe me, go listen to First Love. That's my favorite joint. You hear me talk about that all the time. He just went in. But this is more... Something you can buy. I don't know your name. Who is he talking to? I don't know your name. Who is he talking to? That's the question. I don't know your name. You're just giving an altar. How you feeling, baby? I don't know your name. Might be talking to himself. And something that we can also tell, as we would have expected from Sugar, okay? He took, I'm getting chills talking about this. I can't wait to listen to the album. He took it so serious, like with these visuals and the acting he's doing it and the message that he's communicating. You could tell he took the whole, like, come on, man, this is Sugar official solo and i'm realizing that he delivered exactly that like he didn't go light he didn't know he said this is the time this is now i'm gonna give it to it to the fullest extent and he didn't hold back and i got so much love and respect for that i think you're talking to himself i think you're talking to himself Oh, he's dreaming. Look like he just, he just, he just going back. He's just going back through these emotions. I looked up what amygdala uh, is. It's a region of the brain. Uh, responsible for emotions. So my man went through a lot, man. My man went through a lot. That explains why his sound is so dark. That makes sense now. That explains why a lot, especially earlier, his sound was just so dark, so moody, so ethereal, so everything that I like and love. <laughs> but it explains it. It totally explains it because he had a very very dark past and it looks like he's just taking us through it he's taking himself through it too he's working through it through music music and artistry is very very therapeutic if you're an artist or if you like to create the best thing you can do is create it's extremely therapeutic and there's also deeper reasons why you got to do it but that's a different conversation spiritual conversation <laughs> Okay, that's a razor. that on his face he did that to himself that's where it came from he did that to himself according to you know the message he's saying in the video so let me rewind that back a little bit so he he's saying something there He's facing it, which is not easy to do. 
Come on, let's erase him. So yeah, um, you know, let me hold on there. He, he's he's trying. He's just going through it, man. That's you know what I'm saying. He's he's going through it in a healthy way. This is what it looks like when you go through your baggage and your troubles and all of that. Let me make sure I'm recording. I don't know why. I just got to check that. Again, I'm a little traumatized. Okay, we still good. This is what it looks like when you 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 go through your baggage, you go through your mind, you sort out your emotions, you sort it all out in a healthy way. This is what it looks like when you do that in a healthy way. So I definitely uh, applaud him for that, for doing it in a healthy way. A lot of, I got one for you. I got one for you. I got one for you. Um, I used to take acting classes at a time when I was living in Miami and an extremely great acting teacher. I'm talking, this lady was just deep. Like before we would even start the class, she would have us, uh, do a little yoga and meditation just to calm down, to slow it down, just to be present. You know what I'm saying? And just to, just to, just to calm it down and just to get our energies right. I'm, I'm just letting you know how deep she was. This lady, um, I don't know if I want to say her name. I don't want to put her out like that. Um, this lady said something that stuck with me and it sticks with me till this day because it's one of the greatest things I've ever heard a human being say that I personally know and I personally met or even in general. This lady said, anger is what we promote to mask how we feel. Ooh. Woo! Woo! Did you feel that? Did you feel that? Because I damn sure felt it then and I feel it for the rest of my life. Let me say that one more time. Oh God, where do I begin with this? Um, during making this video, um, I had kind of decided to just kind of look her up. You know, when you just randomly just think of somebody and you just kind of look them up. Well, since I mentioned her in this video, um, I just kind of decided, you know, let me just look her up, see, see what's kind of going on with her and so on and so forth. And to my surprise, I actually found out that she passed away. She passed away three years ago. Um, so this just kind of took a whole interesting evolving turn and I'm just going to go ahead and just memorialize her uh, in this video and just have this little moment. Um, and of course I'll say her name now. Like I honestly didn't know this at the time I was recording this video. so. She went by the name of uh, Jane Kelly and she ran the Actors Workshop of South Florida. And she's honestly one of the most beautiful, and I'm not just saying this just to say this, truly. Um, she's truly one of the most beautiful human beings I've ever had the chance of meeting, working with, training with. Um, her genuineness, her honesty, and her blunt sincerity uh, is what really just kind of sticks in my spirit the most. I've always just kind of had an attraction for that. And anyone, I've always had an attraction for that. That's what my spirit holds on to the most. Um, to give you an idea of the type of impact she's had on me, uh, my time at her workshop First of all, that was over 10 years ago. That was over 10 years ago. And it lasted maybe maybe a month or so, something like that. And my time there and her as well just sticks out to me in my mind forever. It just literally stays with me forever. And you know, uh, I, I, I often think of her a lot like just genuinely i'm not just saying obviously i mentioned her in the video and i did not even know this it's just kind of how much what she said just really stays with me 
Um, so I often think of her a lot, and of course after this, more so even now. So anyway, I just wanted to take this moment to memorialize her in this video. I'll share with you, you know, for the artistic and creative people out there, I'll share with you one more thing that I like. I didn't even realize I've learned this from her because it became such a part of my nature. But when I was going through my notes after finding out that she passed on, I realized that, wow, she taught me this too. And that's whenever I'm creating, she basically helped, she taught me and helped me realize that when you're creating, if you start off high, if you start off extreme, if you start off loud, you're already at the ceiling. You don't have much headroom, no place to go. But if you start off in a lower part or, you know, somewhere lower than the freaking ceiling, then you can play with your product a little bit more. You can navigate it a little bit more. You can take it up. You can take your, your whoever experiencing your art on a ride. I learned that from her too, cause you know, I create music. I didn't even know I learned that from her in particular till I went to review my notes and I said, wow, I got that from her too. And that too is a part of, a huge part of how I create. Huge part of how I create. But anyway, I just wanted to take this moment to memorialize her. Um, and how this uh, relate to the video with Sugar? With Sugar, I didn't explain this too clear. Was his older material was uh, was 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 so dark and was so it was just anger. He was just putting out so much anger. So that's how it relates to the quote. Anger is what we promote. The mask how we feel because now with his material now he's dealing with it. He's dealing with it genuinely and he's actually facing it and unpacking it because these are what the emotions that he was actually feeling the whole time. But as Lady Jane once said, anger is what we promote to mask how we feel. That stuck with me forever. So to a true, 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 graceful and amazing master, Miss Lady Jane Kelly. I always think of you, love. Anger is what we promote. That's what we put out. That's what we show. That's the mask we put on. To mask, no pun intended, how we truly feel. That's what you're putting out. But behind all of that is a whole bunch of truth that's really going on. So anyway... He's dealing with it in a healthy way and he's trying to get through it. Come on, let's erase them. One by one, yeah. One by one. I'm like, one by one? Yeah. Let's, let's erase them one by one. He's getting through it. He's getting over it. My dog is evolving. He's stepping into the light. That's what's going on here. And I think that's why the album might be called D-Day. I gotta listen to this album, man. I'm gonna get to it, y'all. And ladies and gentlemen, I was right once again. I seen something. Uh, I think it was a trailer to uh, the Road to D-Day um, where he was talking to Jimin about the album. And he basically said that's why he called it D-Day because it's the beginning uh, of his new beginning. Come on, man. I was freaking right again. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. I think I know what I'm talking about. I love y'all. I'm gonna get to it. My There's a lot going on in this video. There's a lot going on in this video. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to slow it down, to be honest with you. Cause I want to see what this is. This is the breakdown. So this is why we do this. I want to see what's what's going on. Alright. 
Champiare biale di mana G. Sugar actually do something that I do when I make music too, actually y'all notice, and I think it's kind of cool. It's like we start the song off cool, chill, very digestible, and by the time we do the second verse, that's where we say, all right, fuck all of that, and then we just rap. We like really go in a little bit. I kind of do that same thing when I, uh, when I make music and I make songs. Sound of my mom's heart ticking in my head. I like how he say, I hope I made the best decisions because that kind of just sheds a little light on, hey man, just because I'm... I'm y'all biased. I'm that guy. I'm him. Don't just automatically mean I have a perfect life. I'm still human. As it goes back to that quote I uh, I mentioned in one of my previous videos from Jordan Peterson. He's like a, a psych professor, but he's blown up now. He's he's expanding, doing all type of stuff. If you don't know who Jordan Peterson is, he he's like a psych professor slash therapist slash that type of stuff. Um, he say one thing that people don't really, he want to talk, have a talk with Kanye West because it'd just be a shame to throw all of that away. Cause he say one thing that people don't realize is, especially about geniuses is they're human too. They're human too. Just like you, just like me, just like whatever, but they're brilliant on top of that. They're a genius on top of that. And I can tell you you know, from a lot of experience, it's hard for creative people, extremely creative people to find their space, to find their place in this world. Because we, we, you know how people say, oh, you got to think outside of the box. We live outside the box. We don't even know what the box is. You know what I'm saying? So while 80, 90% of society lives in this box they operate within this box There's nothing wrong with that it's just the way it is extremely creative people geniuses of the like so on and so forth we literally live outside the box we don't even know what the box is you know what i'm saying so and sugar obviously is is no exception to that so the guy's human too the guy is human too and it's very cool to really see him open up with this album he didn't just make a whole bunch of fun Party shit. He 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 really went in with this album. I can't wait to listen to it. Now, I notice he's talking about choices a lot, but he's not specifically saying what were these choices. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, one of them was joining BTS, obviously. Um, but he's not specifically saying what these choices were. That's very interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> Pretty sure that rain is symbolic uh, for for probably new life, possibility, something of the sort. I wonder if these are things that he really, literally went through, like you know, self harm and things like that, or if he's just trying to communicate the depth of the emotions. I'm not I'm not too sure on that one. 
But I know it's not too far from the truth. That's another thing artists do. Literally everything they do is literal. To so the way they keep their hair, the where where the earring is at, what tattoo they want to get. That's even with normal people, but more so with artists. Literally everything they do is very, very specific. Very, very. God, chills, 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 chills. He's trying to get to himself to help save himself because the him inside that room is the old him that's doing a lot of harm. And whoever this is on the outside is trying to hurry up and get there to help and save him. You mother. Mm. That's the door. He's trying to get in. Save me from here. Hurry, get me out of here. Yeah. It's two sides of him. Okay. Okay. Brilliant, man. Just absolutely... Just absolutely brilliant. You know what I'm saying? As, 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 as we would expect. Um, so, yeah. You know, it looks like, as I mentioned, I'm tracking extremely accurate. Um, my, my, my guy is just evolving. He's trying to get through those past memories, those past emotions, those past experiences. And he just want to, he, 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 he just want to reach pure liberation. He has some, he has some, and I even mentioned this in, I think, my analysis for Higgum, uh, that he's like in this space of I have this success life is actually not bad um but I, I, he needs to internalize that and I'll talk again you know I talked about this and I mentioned it again our mind is much more quicker than our inner emotions you know what I'm saying I'm repeating this stuff because it, it seems very consistent in his story and his energy uh, and it's sometimes you you know we just need to hear it more than once. Our mind is quicker than our emotions, so it's like his mind is telling him, "You're in a better space, bro. It don't have to be like that. You are absolutely, absolutely, you are absolutely in a better space. It don't need to be like that. But our emotions take time to come back around. That's just life. That's just how it is." So he's, is, again, I, I, I'm, I'm right on track with all of this. I'm not bragging, y'all. I'm just speaking facts. So that's where he's at, man. He's just trying to get through it. He's trying to work through it. And again, he's in that space where he knows it shouldn't be there, but it is because working through our past and working through our demons is not easy. But I applaud my guy. I applaud my guy and anybody that's watching this that's trying to do that, I applaud him for at least trying because on the other side of the fence is pure bliss, pure peace, pure liberation. And now I'll just go ahead and uh, make my final word on that note. This will be a word of wisdom, although I dropped a couple gems in this video. Uh, they're, they're, I'm gonna honestly open up uh, regardless of what anyone believes in. I'm gonna just speak some real truth that I know to be true. There is a moving spirit uh, within this world. I'm gonna respect your beliefs and not get too deep, but there is a moving spirit that moves within this world. And that spirit does look out for you. That spirit does want you to do good. That spirit does prosper and does try to guide you as well. And I will say, as many spiritual masters have said, achieving that level of awakening is worth a million points. Spiritual master Muji, Muji Baba, uh, he talks about, he mentions that. He said, this is worth a million points. Spiritual master uh, Satguru, he's a great one. These are also great people if you never heard of them. You should probably look them up, especially if you into that stuff or trying to get your life figured out in any way. He mentions it uh, as well. It's, it's, it's pure bliss. 
It's every cell. The way he explains it is every cell in your body just burst with ecstasy. And when you get there, as my spiritual advisor have told me, it's not easy work. But when you get there, the payoff is well, 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 well worth it. And I can tell you from experience, it is, baby. Pure liberation, man. Thanks for checking it out, man. That's the breakdown. We gonna keep it coming. I love y'all. Drop it in the comments. Let's talk about it. I'm getting more and more active with this thing because I'm realizing that, honestly, this is where I belong. So let's talk about it in the comments. You're going to see me in there interacting with it more often than not, man. i catch y'all in the next one. It's all love. What I hate. Shout out to Shuga. One more time, baby. Love.